We made it, Slovenia. There's actually a uh, Ultra Mont Blanc stage being ran here over the weekend. We're gonna stay around and watch that. We're gonna enter the. <laughs> we're gonna enter one of the races. I'm not sure how this is gonna go down, but we're gonna enter a 30 kilometre race. Good morning. We've drummed up the motivation to get out of bed. It's pouring in rain, it's about six degrees, and we've got 33 kilometers to go run. Let's do it. Can I feel it till the end? Well, there's the finish line. I'm hoping we can get there in a bit. Just gonna get on the coach now. Weather's looking actually surprisingly better, which is good. I'd be lying at this point if I wasn't absolutely shitting this. <laughs> It's almost like they knew I was coming, they got one of my favourite songs on. We're gonna to switch to the 360 camera. Wish me luck everyone. <laughs> well, it's just you and me. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Here we go. And we're off. Ale, ale, ale! Ale, ale, ale! 500 metres in. Something like that. Weather's looking good. <laughs> Here we go. So, race plan. Did you really think I was going to have a plan? I just turned up and entered this 33 kilometre race for a laugh. Now, nah, joking aside though, we're going to power walk the inclines, light jog the flats, and then make up our time on the declines. So, yeah. I think I'm going to have to dig to some places I've never dug before for this and I'm ready for it. Alright, I'm going to get the poles out. Just because uh, we're at the back, just try not to slip over. Everyone's worn down the path. This is why the poles are handy. The sit rep, we're soaked inside and out. My right shoulder is starting to ache a bit, but it normally does that with poles, so just got to use them lightly. Just made it out the forest, and we're now broken away. We're in between two packs at the minute. Right, back to it. Fucking, it's snowing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> First station. Oh, we've got to run into the rain and sleet and snow into the next checkpoint. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is killer. It's great. So we're currently in Shrek's swamp, navigating our way to see Fiona. Look at, look at this. I've seen two blokes go back because they lost their shoes. And I really shouldn't be trying to get through this one-handed, but anyway, got to bring you guys the content. <laughs> right, back to it. Sideways wind, bit of sleet or snow or whatever it is. Here we are, the highest point. It's about minus two, minus three. We've got Barry and Richard. Say hello, Barry and Richard. Hello. <laughs> and it is fucking freezing. That's it. Right, going away. I can't feel my hands. Okay, so we just got out the forest. It was fucking horrible, but we managed to get out of there. Now we're on a decent path 
there's mud in my shoes but I'm actually really enjoying it <laughs> does my headband look good at least I'm matching eh here he is Yuri oh hello oh there go. hello <laughs> so we're running with Sylvia <laughs> say hello Sylvia hello, hello. <laughs> She is from Hungary and she is very fast. I'm trying to keep up with her, she's very fast. This is the, I think it's the work part. The work? The work. Oh. oh we've, got a, we've, got a, we've got a work then, so let me put this camera away. I couldn't video that bit because, well, I fell over lots of times, so any, that was even with two hands. Should be at this 16k point soon. Get some more food. Fucking hell. Bit over 20. 20k. 24. Let's go. Just been running on this fucking road for ages. Rather be up there in the mountains. The last incline to go. And then it's a, stead, it's a decline followed by a small incline to the finish. Well, my body is aching in places I didn't know existed. <sighs> We're getting there. Wow. Look at these mountains. Oh, forgot we're in a race. Let's keep going. Oh, my leg. We're at the last station now. Beautiful little spread we got here. Woo, wonderful. Here was a wave. Bye -bye. <laughs> this is just complete mental now. Body's broken, but I've got to get it done. See you at the finish line. Here we go. Oh my oh, friend! Oh, 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 struggling for words of how I actually managed to do that. It's amazing what the body and mind can do when you get them working together. Have some food, and go watch the award ceremony, and then um, I don't know. In the minute, I don't really have anything to say. From Italy, Caterina Stenta! Congratulations, Caterina Stenta! Right, plan now, get back to the van. Uh, get some stuff and then come back and have a shower because I fucking need it. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, them shoes that I bought in Chamonix are doing me good. Woo -hoo. It is possible. Don't be. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah. Stay in the showers. <laughs> And good morning. It is absolutely freezing this morning. The van's been parked in the shade. Everything inside the van is iced over. Surprisingly, my legs and knees feel better than what I thought they would. I don't feel great. My knees are a bit sore, but I'm just keeping them uh, moving and getting some deep heat on them. Gonna get some vitamins down me and things now. Today's really just gonna be a rest and recovery day, clean all my gear. <laughs> so, now we have the fun part of cleaning our gear. So to get to the toilets in this gaff here, you have to get off the elevator. I forgot I was in the rear, it's not Slovenia. 
Just managed to obtain parking ticket number eight of our trip. <laughs> Hoping the knees are gonna get better because these mountains need to be sent. There's peaks all around here, absolutely beautiful. There's five peaks that I wanna do before I move on from the area. So this is where I'm gonna spend the night. Beautiful little spot though, look at the mountains up there. That's where I'll be going. Cracking little spot this, right in the middle of the valley. Three euros 50 a night. And there's all the mountains we're gonna climb. It's sick this. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jumps getting bigger and bigger in size. Looks like some mad heads are about to go on the big one, so I might go over there and have a little look. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's 1,100 steps. You might ask, why? Why are you climbing up now in sandals? I'll tell you the answer. I do not know, but we're committed to it now. So let's keep going. There you go. It shows you how steep it is. So if you've ever wondered what the top of an Olympic sized ski jump looks like, and 1,127 steps, and this is it. And I don't ask me why I'm wearing my sandals. But down we go. Well, the plan is to try and raid the showers here and maybe even a cheeky sauna and steam room. We'll see what we can do. The right result this is. Managed to blag my way into the showers. Nice hot shower, here we go. Oh, a little fresh shower and free and it was hot and there was power in the water the triple threat of van life that is <laughs> so we're going to go find a space up in the park now so this is going to be the end of the video i actually forgot to record an outro don't hate me i was just living in a moment but i got this valley all to myself in slovenia it's really cold but really nice but thanks for watching this far. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you're a Pete visitor, thank you so much for your continued support. And a special thank you to Sylvia. I couldn't have done the race without you. I followed you for basically 20 kilometers. Tune in next time when we're going to explore Slovenia and some of Croatia. See you soon.